What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Happy to have you on here. So today we're going to be looking at the 10 search engines or the 10 top search engine that exists right now. So maybe you thought that it was just Google, the only search engine that exists, but you're wrong. There actually exist a lot of search engines out there, except that they cannot compete very well with Google. Like Google owns a lot of the market share, but definitely there are other search engines that exist out there and which have some amazing features. So today we're going to be looking at them. So let's get into it. So top one, obviously we have Google, which does an amazing job and has been like the number one for decades at this point. So we have Google, which is amazing. Following Google, we have Bing, bing.com you can find it at bing.com which is another search engine as well which is created by microsoft and so if you have the latest edge browsers it mostly uses it mostly uses the bing search engine so it also does an amazing job it's like the number two right after google it's really coming up to meet up with google but google is like far ahead so but the second top engine that you have is bing.com so what comes third what follows google you have yahoo dot com as well you know yahoo.com yahoo.com was actually very big a while ago in the 1990s or in the early 2000s when google was still trying to pick up pace but afterwards google just come and blew it out of the water so yahoo.com is our third top search engine and then the rest is just going to come into any order i can classify them but these are kind of like the third the three top search engines in the world right now then you have baidu.com Baidu is Chinese, I believe, and so it's a huge search engine as well. It's mostly, it mostly operates in China, I believe, and so maybe that's why I've never heard about it, but it's also a search engine which works across the whole internet. You can use it to search whatever you want to search for. Keep in mind that all these search engines come with some additional features and restrictions or whatnot that we are not going to get into right now. So we have Baidu, which is another search engine. Following it, we have DuckDuckGo. Don't ask me why they went with that name. I guess they liked it. So it's another search engine. You should definitely check it out. They have a focus on privacy and free freedom. They try to make everything on here free. So you can definitely check it out. You don't have ads. You don't have um, any website tracking your information and all one not. So it's amazing search engine. You should definitely check it out. Don't, don't go. Then following that, we have axe.com. So axe.com is equally another search engine. Not very well known, at least in my opinion, but I guess it's considered a search engine. You should definitely check it out as well. So following that, we have Ecosia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Ecosia, which is also another search engine. I will not really like to look into like the additional features they have because it's just going to take a lot of time. But just for you to know that such such things exist like that, that's kind of the point of the video. So you have equally Ecosia, which is another search engine. Following that, we have AOL, AOL.com, which is another search engine that allows you to search a different, that allows you to search all information across the internet. So definitely check it out. Then finally, we have Internet Archive, which is basically the internet's archive it allows it keeps a record of everything happening on the internet so not only can you search for current websites but you can equally search for previous websites so you can see here they have even some statistics here of the amounts of books they have the amounts of videos they have stored amounts of music tv shows and so on and so forth so it's a non-profit library of millions of free books movies software music websites and more and it definitely has a lot going on here. So it's also, it's, I think it's considered a search engine as well. Search the history of over 816 billion web pages on the internet. Yeah, so it's an amazing search engine that kind of has that great feature. So definitely check it out. There you have it, the list of the top 10 search engines in the world right now. I believe ChatGPT is working on the search engine, search GPT, I believe. So maybe they're going to be in this list anytime soon now. So. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one.